Yeah, man. Power no five point one real famous DJ Clue Desert Storm. My god, little baby in the building. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Yo, man, can't complain too much, man. Yo, first of all, gotta say congratulations, man, because um you've been doing a lot of big things, man. For one, drip too hard, certified diamond. That's hard. When you was making that song, did you ever think it was gonna be as big as it was? Probably when I was making that song, I might didn't even know what a diamond record was, probably. And of course you got um you got some some nominations to MTV Europe joint, best collab. Yeah. With staying alive. That was crazy. Yeah. Yo, man, I'm like trying to tap into that overseas side too, my international side, and of course also best hip hop. Yeah. Yo, man, I, I just was thinking about the whole process, like from when I, I first heard, you know, saying your music down in Atlanta, and I came back and I'm like, yo, like, so I asked my man, I'm like, yo, who's popping now? He's like, yo, it's Kid Lil Baby popping. Just from back then, and when we did the first party at Angels and Queens to now, it was like, it's a crazy process to see and, and, and just digest, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Congratulations, man. Yo, so that. let's talk about the album a little bit, man. How long it took you to work on this joint, man? I ain't gonna say it took me a specific time, but I ain't dropped in like two and a half years. So this is our music from like, from then up until now. I ain't gonna say it took me two years, because I recorded way over this many songs. But I had so much going on, it, whenever, <clears throat> when I first started, Decided like okay, it's time you drop an album. Then something going on this month. We gotta do this this month. We gotta do this that month. Do this this month. So I finally came to a month where I could drop it. No, no doubt. And of course, you had a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of commercials. You got the Axe commercial. You know what I'm saying? Call of Duty joint, World Cup performance, man. A lot of big things, man. So how sure. how do you find time in your day to, you know, just sift through all that stuff and just process, you know, just for yourself? I kind of don't. I kind of just go go go. Then every now and then, I make myself. Down and reflect. But for the most part, I'm just gone. Of course, you, you be showing love to you know your folks, man, the community, man. You got the, the back to school thing you do. Right. Three thousand kids getting the haircuts, right. book bags. You know what I'm saying? You got the humanitarian award, man. So right. like, going forward for baby, like, what do you see like in in your future, man? Like, as far as like entrepreneurship and and, and business wise. I see, uh, as far as like entrepreneurship and business wise, I see me being like a, an outstanding business man. What I mean by that is like. It's gonna take years for this to happen, but I feel like I'm starting now. I'm in a great space, so by the time I get whatever age, I'll be like one of those prominent business figures. Nah, that's dope, man. Do you have any like any aspirations for a certain kind of business you want to do, like something that interests you, man? Honestly, you I- You be I, around Mike Rubin, so I know he be running I ideas tap, by you all the I time. I tapped in, like, exactly. Definitely with Mike Rubin, I kind of tapped into more like in the investment side, meaning it could possibly be anything versus like me saying, this business or that business. It could be the alcohol business. It could be the t-shirt business. It could be the any kind of business. So I can't really just say like, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do this. Like it's not like I'm gonna go open up a car wash and it's like, this is my business. When I say business, I just mean like on every aspect because I don't see me doing one thing. And of course you dropped the documentary. Untrapped is a dope story I saw. It. Is there anything in that documentary you think you might have, after you saw it, left out that you want to? There's a lot of stuff in the documentary. Yeah. I don't feel like I left it out because we could still go back. It's like that was a documentary. I wish we had we, we could come up with like other words or documentary is just when you hear documentary you think of like somebody old or somebody dead or you know what I'm saying? Like like of course lifelong things. But with me it was my documentary, but it was more so a, 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 a introduction, like introducing me to the world versus more of like a Documentary. I don't really know the definition of documentary exactly, but I feel like this was this was like my introduction more than a documentary. So all the stuff that I did leave out, I could see me putting in my documentary. Because of course, you we went from when I was a child to when I got older to when I started rapping, but we really left out my whole life still. Like two or three incidents in my life is like documentaries in itself. So I still see me coming back later on down the line. Like a another documentary, catching all the stuff that I missed. Now you got a lot. You got a couple features on this album. Nardo Wick. I heard that joint's kind of fire. Yeah. Young Thug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the boy Thug, man. Free the guys. Free the guy. Of course, man. And I seen Thug in your documentary, man. He was talking about how how y'all met, and he kind of like you know believed in you from the beginning, man. Right. When y'all first met, was it just on some regular type of time, or yeah, was it like we was like teenagers, like regular oh, wow. type of time, okay. like, like way way back. Same. He might not have even been rapping yet. He been rapping for a long time though, but he might not have even started rapping yet. You know what I'm saying? Especially not like blew up rapping. Like five, six, seven, about eight, nine years before he blew it up. Right, right. Yeah. I'm seeing you do a good job of 
keeping your, your, your head above water and not getting into nonsense and avoiding the nonsense, man. I'm sure there's times where, like, you know, you're out and you see something and you, and you go the other way, man. Right. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? All the time. All the time, man. I used to, like, run to stuff. Like, now I run away from it. It's like, I'm in a different situation. I got a lot to lose. And in these type of field, in these situations, it could be the slightest thing. They 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 going to drag it as, to the full extent. So with me knowing that, it's just, I don't even try to play. How do you deal with all that social media, you know, saying nonsense that I, trolls I, and stuff, I'm man? I'm not into social media. I'm on that, but I'm not on that. I'm not reading comments. I'm not on the blogs. I'm not. I ain't doing that because I know that's like negativity. I try to stay away from as much negativity as I can. I seen the positive post on there when you said, uh, told the promoter, I'm going to need 750 man. Like, the price went up now. Yeah. <laughs> I told him 750 already. <laughs> and then, like, okay, see, like that. I'm following him, so it just popped up. Right. Like, so when I scroll down the picture, I can just see his name. I don't have to, like, go to the comments. So, like, if I see something like that, I'll come in back. If someone comes to you and they got, you know what I'm saying, they're a little bit short for a show or feature, would you tap in and someone come with cash? They'd be like, yo, hey, man. So I know so it's hard to be like, a yo, show, A show different because if he was short on the show, we're going to make up for it on the ticket sale. So, technically, he won't be short because I'm going to get my money. Right, right. Then, like, far as a feature, depending on, like, the situation, whether if it's a label, if it's a screen, whether if it's an old dude, whether if it's a young dude, like, all that plays a factor, whether I really like the song, like, all that play a factor or, or what they got in hand. But I turn down a lot of money all the time. Sometimes it's just... Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> I <laughs> know, we'll be going show, through it. <laughs> Sometimes it, it, it... I hope this don't sound selfish, but, like, it'd be like a headache. It'd be like a hassle to do certain stuff. And right. I just like rather not do it, even though it's for a crazy amount of money. And I would have did the unbelievable to get it back then. You know what I'm saying? But like things change now, and some stuff just be a headache, so I turn down. And what now, I mean by headache, like hard time, and you end up not wanting to do it anyway. They, they say, man, that the 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 biggest rule of thumb is all money ain't good money. All money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes your peace of mind is worth more than the anything money, money could buy. Cause it, cause it might cause you to. Do some more shit and spend more money. Another thing, man, uh, ask Cat Right of the Year. Two sure. times in a row, man. Sure, I like that. I like that. I cool. mean, how does that feel walking into a room full of full of writers and, and you know what I'm saying? And, and you being the focal point, man. It's crazy because I actually don't write. You know what I'm saying? But nobody really write no more. So right. just to be like the writer of the year is just like Damn. Man, that's a hell of an accomplishment on everybody else in the game and stuff too. I know everybody ain't with ASCAP. I you know some people with the other. Not but, like, sure. just for even the people on ASCAP to be in it. To me, it, it's, like, number one, I mean, everything to me. But for me to just be even in these top rankings with stuff, like, that's, like, number one to me. How do you feel sometimes when you see some of these lists come out? And, and I know you probably feel like, yo, like, because everyone does it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even with me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it be DJs or producers or like, you, know, you see these lists come out and, and, your, and your name is not, in that top tier where it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? How I don't do you feel like that? Cause I feel like everybody entitled to their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Some of my, some people I might think my favorite rapper, people might hate them. So like, you know, I don't, I don't really feed into that. Who is Baby's top five rappers, man? Mm -hmm. I got top five rappers for different days, different genres, <laughs> different. <laughs> but all right, just say my top five rappers that I'm listening to right now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Not in no order, like from one to five, but you heard about this drop his new album. We've been on that lately. Um, young nigga, hot boy from Florida. We be on him. Um, who else I've been listening to lately? Um, my artist Rallo Rodriguez. He like one of my favorite rappers of all time. I mess with Rallo. At least uh, I'm on Rallo like most of the day. Um, Future, of course. I, I gotta have that Future in my playlist. Um, well. Uh, that's what I listened to this morning, like literally. That's all. Oh, word? Uh, yep, that's what I listened to, like this morning, literally. Which part of the song that means the most to you on this album, man? Honestly, I have a different vibe for different days. Like, like yesterday I was in a great mood. We was on some turn shit. So I was on them, like all the up tempo songs, uh, like the song, Naruto song, the, most of my features up tempo songs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then 
I mean, we got a couple on there, but. Song with Thug is hard. That, that, was, that was one of my, out of what I heard, I didn't hear everything yet, but out of what I heard, that was my favorite. For sure, that, that's one of the ones. For sure, yeah. like one of them up fives. But then some days when I'm just like chilling and might be by myself or something, you know, I'll click on one of them real shit, shit songs. Like, when I'm just talking. Now, what's up with you and James Harden, man? Y'all have a good relationship, man. All right. He better show you some moves so next time, you know what I'm saying, you get on the court, you know what I'm saying? See, I'm gonna let him handle the basketball. <laughs> I stay on on my lane. Yeah. I'm feeling like the birthday gifts is a competition now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it started so. with a honey bun, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it started getting see, out of hand see, now, see, man. See, it's crazy because it had been started before then, but it's like how, how we be rocking, like, well, how I be rocking. I don't really care to show the internet, you know what I'm saying? Not for sure. Like, the honey bun shit just was. It just happened to go on the internet. Even just his last birthday, when I when I um, I was backstage, I had a couple of my bros back there. But if they weren't back there, it wouldn't been recorded or nothing. Right. right. And it was just like, but that's something I do with everybody though. Word. Yeah. All I'm, the homies. Like all, everybody, like that's like a a big thing in our culture. Birthdays. Everybody do it for everybody. I see you go to like different hoods, man, just to show love. Like you went right. to to New Orleans with Rob. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That was crazy, man. Like. Is, is that something you look forward to doing, man? Just like going to different. I like shit like that. Going to different hoods and helping other rappers out, man. I like shit like that. It's like the groundwork. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm in the streets, in the music world still. You feel me? Like sure. And nothing like that feeling that vibe. It's it's kind of like when uh I feel like when you know Drake threw you a branch and it was like. Yo. Sure. That's how I look at it, all the time. Now, and of course, you did another thing, man. That that was that was good. I want to talk about because I, I like to talk about all the good stuff that people do, man. Like. You uh you opened up like a, a scholarship fund, man. Right. You know what I'm saying, hundred fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying to help. You know what I'm saying a, a hundred kids out, man. Like, like, that scholarship. like when you do stuff most like that. Of the, most of the good shit I do, like, like it kind of make me cringe when I hear people say the good stuff I do, cause it don't it, be right like they say. Baby had a screwdriver, man. Baby got a humanitarian award, but baby do so much more. You know what I'm saying, like definitely. It never even, like, I had a screwdriver four years straight now. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. A lot of stuff don't, don't, because I ain't on that. Like, I could easily pay for press and I ain't, it don't really be for that. Like, you won't even know the half for the stuff that I do. You know what I'm saying? I know about the the little baby Dr. Dre, Jimmy Iovine. For sure. For music sure. Music and arts, you know what I'm saying? For sure, I'm trying to get that to Atlanta. For sure. Even, even, um, I talked to Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine about building a school in Atlanta. Like, they got the, um, I can't think of what it's called, like YCU, something like that. They got like this program. They already got schools in LA. So I'm gonna try to get them to build a school in Atlanta. Now, what about home life, man? What's up with the kids, man? Oh, what's up? Kids, great. Um, I see you be carrying them on the road, taking them on the road with you, man. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I'm trying to get them. one of them got a nanny. He like, I'm trying to get my other one a nanny. He like, so I can keep him with me a little bit more. You feel me? I've been, yeah. I've been so busy on the road. Then I just had came off tour, so I ain't even home like that. I know they missing me. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them for like two months though when I go back. And you was on on tour with Chris Brown, man. How was that experience, man? It was a great tour. I ain't at first I didn't know how it was gonna work packaging me and Chris Brown. But shit, we blow that shit out. I feel like it was a good contrast, man. I came through a couple of shows, man. I feel like y'all rocked out and I feel like the excitement still stayed at a high level. Right. Even when, you know what I'm saying? Like right. Chris came on or you went off or you come back on. Like I, I still feel like right, it stayed yeah, at a high level. It was a great vibration around the whole time. Yeah. Now you got any more tours coming up? Uh, I'm sure I'll tour next year, not this year. Next year? Yeah, next year I'll tour for sure. All right, man, yo, the album, man. Give them the album title, man. It's Only Me, Tonight at Midnight. You know what I'm saying? Little Babies in the Building. 805-85-105, World Famous DJ Clue. Thank you for coming through, man. When you come back to town, we got to do something big, man. Definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's Power 105.1, y'all.